I'm Jordan Fielding welcome to our news channel All India News, headline. India successfully test fires two long-range missiles off Odisha coast. Now in details, India on Tuesday successfully test fired two long-range surface-to-air missiles, over some, jointly developed with Israel from a base off Odisha coast, an achievement aimed at galvanizing its air defense capability. The sophisticated missile, a product of joint venture between India and Israel, was first test launched from a mobile launcher in the Integrated Test Range ITR, at Chandipur at around 10.13 hours, while the second Rasam was test fired at about 14.25 hours, defense officials said. Both the trials were successful as the missiles hit the target directly, said a scientist associated with the project. In both the tests, the state-of-the-art missiles destroyed the aerial target, he said. India successfully test-fired a new, long-range surface-to-air missile jointly developed with Israel from a defense base off Odisha's coast on Tuesday. The long-range missile, a product of a joint venture between India and Israel, was test-launched from a mobile launcher at the Integrated Test Range ITR, in Chandipur near here at around 10.13 m, a Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, official said. The trial was successful and some more rounds of tests are expected to be conducted shortly, the DRDO scientist said. Apart from the missile, the system includes a multifunctional surveillance and threat alert radar, MF star, for detection, tracking and guidance of the missile, the official said, adding that the missile along with MF star can neutralize any aerial threats. Earlier, between June 30 and July 1, 2016, Three consecutive test firing of the medium-range surface-to-air missile, jointly developed by India and Israel were conducted from the DRDO base at Chandipur. The missile guided by armored seeker had successfully hit the last-minute maneuvering target. Indian Navy had also successfully test-launched the long-range surface-to-air missile, LR-SAM. The test was undertaken on the western seaboard by INS Kolkata on December 30, 2015. These missiles would be inducted in all the three services after trials are completed. Many Indian industries like Bell, l and BDL, and Tata Group of companies, besides other private industries, have contributed to the development of a number of subsystems that have been put into use in this flight test, the official said. As a safety measure, Balasore District Administration in consultation with the defense officials had temporarily shifted 3,652 people residing within 2.5 km radius of the launch pad number 3 of the ITR at Chandipur to nearby temporary shelters this morning to ensure a safe launch of the missile, a district revenue official said. Fishermen along the Bay of Bengal and three coastal districts of Balasore, Badurk and Kandrapada were asked not to venture into the sea during the time of the test launch. Apart from the missile, the system includes a multifunctional surveillance and threat alert radar, MF star, for detection, tracking and guidance of the missile, officials said, adding the missile along with MF star would provide the users the capability to neutralize any aerial threats. Earlier, between June 30 and July 1, 2016, three consecutive test firing of the medium-range surface-to-air missile, jointly developed by India and Israel were conducted from the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, based at Chandipur. The missile guided by Armored Seeker had successfully hit the last-minute maneuvering target. Indian Navy had also successfully test-launched the long-range surface-to-air missile. LR Sam. The test was undertaken on the western seaboard by INS Kolkata on December 30, 2015. These missiles would be inducted into all three services after trials were completed. Many Indian companies like Bell, l and BDL and Tata group of companies besides other private industries have contributed to the development of a number of subsystems which have been put into use in this flight test. 
as a safety measure, Balasore District Administration in consultation with defense officials had temporarily shifted 3,652 people residing within 2.5 kilometers radius of the launch pad No. 3 of ITR at Chandipur to nearby temporary shelter centers this morning to ensure a safe launch of the missile, a district revenue official said. Fishermen engaged in sea fishing along the Bay of Bengal and three Odisha coastal districts of Balasore, Badurk and Kandrapur were asked not to venture into the sea during the time of the test launch. Thank you for watching video please subscribe the channel now if not already. Stay tuned, stay tuned.